Welcome back to ITW Extra, powered by JSA. We are live for day two of ITW 2023 here in National Harbor on the ITW Expo floor. I'm Buffy Harakitis of JSA, and joining me today is Jonathan Restivo. He is the Chief Development Officer of Cityside Fiber. Welcome to JSA TV. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. Yeah, it's so nice to have you here. I mean, it's day two. The floor is already buzzing. Uh, the coffee lines are long. <laughs> we're here live. So this is your first uh, JSA TV interview. So we're honored to have you. Thank you. Uh, so welcome. And for those that don't know, can you tell us a little bit more about Cityside Fiber and what makes it so unique? Yeah, absolutely. So um, Cityside was formed a few years ago um, in Orange County. Uh, we are a fiber developer and new service provider uh, there in Orange County, California. Um, the, the company was really kind of born out of um, some frustrations that we were having mm -hmm. with um, uh, the development of new technology um, within the space. And a lot of that was kind of driven by a lack of fiber um, and inefficiencies around how we deployed um, those technologies without the fiber, right? And so as we um, started thinking about ideas for how to better, um, you know, uh, create a more shared infrastructure that okay. was more efficient, more um, cost effective, and that sort of thing, we started. Uh, we started Cityside with the idea of establishing a fiber to the home base um, that would allow us to bring fiber across the city, across a region. Um, out into the into the neighborhoods and that sort of thing, and then we would be able to build and design with more capacity, um, so that all these other use cases around 5G and smart um, smart cities, other edge data, enterprise, private networks, all these different types of opportunities um, that we were seeing challenges with before, um, by building enough capacity through a fiber to the home network. Um, we were able to, uh, we believe we'll be able to establish more of those technologies and kind of build in a smarter, more efficient way. Um, and so we're excited to launch over the next um, few months. Um, we are right about to start our first couple markets in Orange County. Oh, it sounds exciting. Yeah. So you serve both residential and business, correct? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Um, we start with the residential side okay. um, and then uh, we'll have opportunities for small to medium business and then enterprise. Um, Tower, um, tower companies, carriers, mm -hmm. um, other enterprise use cases as well. Um, but our real thing is to try to establish ourselves and establish a real place within the community on the fiber to the home side first right. um, with, with uh, residents, with small to medium businesses. Um, and if we do that well, uh, all the other things, all the other use cases will kind of come over the top of that. Um, and so what uh, our main focus as we as we uh, establish ourselves within the community is to, you know, one of the things that we wanted to kind of set ourselves apart from the existing providers is to really stress that local presence. We're located in Orange County. We have built there before. We've, you know, we live there, our offices are there. Um, we really want to try to establish ourselves as members of the community in multiple ways um, and kind of hold ourselves accountable as well. Like if you see us in a grocery store, right? right and your internet's not working or you had a bad customer experience, right? Like we're right there, you know, to, to hold ourselves accountable and, and improve our performance and that sort of thing. So um, yeah, being a part of that community was, was a big deal for us and, and kind of trying to change the experience um, from what most people are used to um, from their typical providers, the legacy providers. So as you enter these new communities, I mean, it sounds like you have a great plan um, you know, as a new provider, are there any challenges that you have to overcome? Yeah, absolutely. Um, what's interesting about our market in Orange County is that um, obviously there are areas that are very high income, mm -hmm. high property values, right? But they're being fed by legacy technologies from decades ago. Um, and we, we kind of asked ourselves why, right? And, and a lot of the reason for that is because it's really expensive to build and because the cities and the and the uh, the ecosystem for development is, is challenging. It's very right. challenging, um, and so 
what we try to do at the start is to establish a relationship with the city at the council level, at the city manager level, at the staff level, um, and kind of really work with them, find their pain points, find what issues matter to them um, so that we can address them through that process, right? How do we make, how do we make permitting easier? How do we, um, how do we work with other companies, other developers that are in the area that we might be able to joint trench or um, utilize each other's infrastructure? Mm -hmm. And it kind of, all of that kind of comes back to the original premise that we had, which was how do we build in a smarter, more efficient way? Um, and, and just, you know, develop this infrastructure better, right? Be, right. be more um, open to a shared infrastructure environment um, and allow for all those use cases to, to naturally develop because that fiber is there. Um, and because we've worked with the city in a more comprehensive approach, planning, you know, going, through, making sure that we're avoiding street moratoriums, um, making sure that we're designing with enough capacity for the city or other other users mm -hmm. to, to make use of that fiber. Well, it sounds like Orange County is lucky to have you. <laughs> we hope so. Uh, disrupting that, that community there with new modern infrastructure and technology to scale and grow for uh, generations to come. So congratulations. Thank you. Uh, expect more news, correct? Yeah. 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 Um, we'll have some announcements over the next, uh, next few weeks and months, okay. um, as Exciting. we start to launch our, our markets and our product and our network, which, um, you know, is being established right now. And so it's been, uh, a few years in the works, uh, to get to this point and we're super excited to be able to, to bring that to the community. Yeah, it is super exciting. And, uh, no better place to talk about it than here at ITW Extra, powered by JSA. Uh, Jonathan, thank you so much for joining us thank today. You. Where can viewers go to learn more? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so our website is citysidefiber.com. Uh, you'll find out a little bit of information about, um, about the business and our product lines and where we're going next. And uh, we have some exciting things in the works on that front. Um, so, yeah, so stay tuned. So stay tuned and thank you again, viewers, for tuning in to another episode of ITW Extra, powered by JSA, live here at ITW 2023. Happy networking.